Hey guys, welcome to Visualization. This is Nestor Adrian Sen, and today we will learn about variables in Power BI. Hey, before we get started, if this is the first time that you stop on my channel, please be sure to hit the subscribe button and stay up to date with all the videos in Power BI. All right, so no more talking and let's get started. Today, we're gonna learn four different points. So the first one, we will understand variables in Power BI. The second one, we will learn the basic syntax of a variable. The third point, we will learn about the uses of variables. And finally, if you are like me, you learn by doing. So we have three different practical cases to put everything into practice, okay? So now let's go to the next slide understanding variables in Power BI. So here we have four key points, okay? So the first one, variables are used to store results from DAX expressions. That's totally true. We will learn more about that in our examples, okay? And the next point, a variable can be a hard-coded value or the result of a complex DAX equation. That is also correct. So for those who are not familiar about hard-coded values, hard-coded values are scalar values or single values that are used directly in the expression. Okay, so the next point here, variables can be used in any type of tax calculation, including calculated columns, measures, and tables. So for this purpose, for the purpose of this tutorial, we will be using variables in measures. Okay, finally, this is really important, guys. Variables are important for at least two reasons, code readability and performance. Very, very important, guys. So now let's go to the next slide. Syntax. So here we have a basic syntax for a variable, okay? So we have right there on the left side, the keyword var, right? So this defines the variable. And then the other key part of the variable is this keyword return. So this defines the result. But of course, we need to have also a variable name, which is this one right here. There is something really important here that we need to be aware of, okay? So there is no space allowed between words right here for variable names. Please keep that in mind, okay? So if you leave space between these two words, so that doesn't work. We also have the expression. As we mentioned before, this can be a hard-coded value or this can also be a DAX expression, which is more common, okay? And then finally, for the return part right here, so here we have the name of the variable as well. There you guys have it. This is just the basic syntax of a variable, okay? So now let's go to the next slide. Uses of variables. So a very frequent usage of variables is to divide the calculation of a complex formula into logical steps, right? So by assigning the result of each step to a variable. That's why we mentioned before that by using variables, we can improve code readability, right? So here you guys can see an example of this usage, okay? So here we have a measure called total profit, and then we have three different variables, right? So here we have the first variable called total premium. As you guys can see here, there is no space between these two words these two words are together, okay? And then here we have the DAX expression, which is sum, right? And then for the next variable, we have right here total cost, and also we have right here the DAX expression, which is sum again. And we also have the next variable called total profit, which is the difference between total premium and total cost. And finally, this is the keyword return that it has to be there, right? So in order to work. So the keyword return has as a result total profit. This is what we have 
for the uses of variables. So now let's go to the next slide. All right, guys, this is it. This is the time. So we're going to put everything into practice. So we have right here three different cases. The first one, we need to find the total profit made for all insured products. And we need to use variables to achieve this goal. And for the next case, we have right here also that we need to find the total profit made only for TV. And we also need to use variables. And finally, let's create a visualization with the results. So are you guys ready? So now let's go to Power BI. All right. So we are here in Power BI right now. So before we get started with these variables and measures, let's learn more about this data. So let's hit right here, data. All right, so we have this table called claims. So let me walk you through this data real quick. So this is a fictitious insurance company, okay? So we have right here ID, claim ID, claim date, delivery date. We also have the product claim. So we have right here, four different products and we also have tv right there okay so we have the delivery company we also have the premium paid right there and we also have claim cost shipping cost and total cost and of course there is more columns right there city and state okay so please keep this in mind because this is going to be very helpful when we are working on the questions that we have been asked. Okay, so let's go back to report. All right, so now let's create our first measure to solve our first question. So right click right here, new measure. So this measure, we're gonna call this total profit. I'll enter to go to the next line and let's make this bigger, okay. So now we need to use bar, okay? Which is the keyword to start a variable. And then our first variable is gonna be called total premium, okay? Remember that these two words need to be together. So now I'll enter and right here, so we're gonna use the sum function. Okay, and of course we need to add every single premium that is part of the claims table. Okay, so let's right here, select this one right here, claims premium paid, close parenthesis, and now I'll enter. So now, and we just created our first variable. So our next variable, we're gonna use var again. So we're gonna call it total cost okay so these two words need to be together equal i'll enter again right here some but in this case we need to add total cost okay so let's find this one right here it's right there let's select that close parenthesis i'll enter so now let's create the next variable var again and in this case we're going to call it total profit okay total profit together and then equal and right here total profit is going to be the difference between total premium and total cost okay so total and right here we're going to use these variables right we already created them right here total cost right there let's select that again so so now we just selected total cost as well i'll enter and now we're going to use the return keyword i'll enter and in this case we are interested in total profit so we're going to type right here total profit but in this case we're selecting just the third variable right all right 
So that's what we have, guys, for the first question. So we found the total profit. So there you guys have it. So let's make sure that this is working properly, okay? So let's approve this change here, right here. Seems like it's working. All right, so now let's drag this measure right here into this area. All right, seems like it's working, guys. So let's add data labels right there. Boom, it's working, guys. And right here, we can even have right here known. And then if you guys want to add comma as well. So in that way, we can read this number better, OK? So we just created our first measure and we use variables to create that measure, right? All right, so let's go back to the presentation real quick and let's see what else we need to work on. As you guys can see, we found the total profit made for all insured products and we use variables. So the second question is find the total profit made only for TV and then we need to use variables to achieve that goal, okay? So keep that in mind and let's go back to Power BI Desktop. So now let's create our second measure. Right click, new measure. We're gonna call this measure profit TV, okay? Equal right here, I'll enter our first variable. It's gonna be total premium, okay? Total premium equal, I'll enter. And right here, we wanna use the calculate function. I'll enter. And right here, of course, we wanna use sum. And we're gonna sum all premiums, right? So we're gonna use premium paid, close parenthesis, comma, I'll enter. And now we need to apply a filter here, okay? The filter is gonna be just for TV. So for product claim there, equal to in quotation marks, because this is text, TV, close quotation marks, I'll enter, close parenthesis, and boom, we just created our first variable, okay? So now let's create our second variable. I'll enter, var again, and then in this case, this is gonna be total cost, okay? Equal, I'll enter, we're gonna use calculate here as well. In parentheses, I'll enter sum. In this case, total cost, right? Then comma, I'll enter. Here we need to have just one parentheses. Let's delete this one right here. Okay, I'll enter. So our filter here is gonna be product for product claim right and this is gonna be just for tv quotation mark again quotation mark i'll enter close parenthesis boom we just created our second variable so now let's create the last one i'll enter var again and right here this is gonna be profit tv okay here equal to total premium right right there minus total cost i'll enter and now we need to use return this is return i'll enter and we are interested in profit tv and of course we want to use just the last variable here all right, so everything looks fine to me. So let's approve these changes. Boom, it seems like it's working, guys. So let's hide this one right here. And then let's drag profit into this area. This is just for TV. Bingo, guys, it seems like it's working. All right, so 
So let's select this one right here and let's copy the same format. Boom, we have right here minus 60,000. We're not making money for TVs, guys. Okay. All right, so it's working. So now let's go back to our presentation and let's see what else we need to work on. All right, guys. Finally, we need to create a visualization with the results. So let's go back to Power BI Desktop. All right, so uh, let's do something pretty cool here. So let's select this first chart for total profit. And now let's drag claim date into access. Boom. Let's make this a little bit bigger. And let's delete this one right here. So now what we can do here is something really cool. Let's make this a little bit bigger. And this is just for the example, guys. Okay. So let's drag Profit TV into the same chart right here. Boom. And then let's use a comma as well to read the numbers better. Let's display the values in this column with commas as a thousand separator. Okay, so let's do that for the profit TV. It's right there. So in that way we can read the numbers better. All right, so it seems like it's working guys. There you guys have it. This was just the basics of variables. I hope you guys found this very helpful. So let's go back to our presentation. All right, guys, that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. As always, if you found this information very helpful, please give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, leave your questions and comments below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe because you don't want to miss anything. Thank you guys and see you in my next tutorial.